What is happening people of the internet, this is the Lightning AJ coming at you with another video. So today I got some more spicy news and information regarding Spider-Man PS4. Now it, this is a lot of article stuff, a lot of stuff, so I just took a little bit of shots of the ones that I think are most important. There's still plenty of stuff in this article that I think that you should look into. So I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can have a look for it yourselves. But without further ado, let's just dive straight into it. This coming from Telegraph, if the measure of success of any superhero game post Arkham Asylum is how fully they realize the fantasy of embodying the man in the mask, then Insomniac have taken an almighty bound in the right direction. In truth, it's almost impossible not to view Spider-Man through the prism of Rocksteady's Batman adventures with Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight are arguably the set texts of superhero games, simultaneously rewriting the rule book while raising the bar a skyscraper high. People asked, do you find them to be competitors? And they said, no, they inspire. Those games inspire us. I look at those games, but I do, don't look at a specific features. I look at the quality, not to mention the fulfilling, the fantasy of being Batman. Our goals are to make sure people say our game is on their quality level. And the writer of this article did have time to actually play Spider-Man, so occasionally during his time with the game, it feels like Spider-Man is sticking to the script a little too closely. Those optional activities include black cat stakeouts in which you must find a lucky cat trophy in his specific locations by Spidey's old flame of Felicia Hardy. Taskmaster challenges such as defusing three time bombs against the clock under the all-seeing eye of the titular trickster side missions left in Oscorp research stations by Peter Parker's pal Harry, or combat trials in the geese of compounds staffed with waves of supervillains Wilson Kingpin Fisks, goons that can be infiltrated and neutralized at will. So I'm actually pretty excited that they give a lot of side options. And then it continues on by saying combat is further complicated by suit powers. Initially introduced by donning one of the many costume spider suits available to craft or collect in the game, fitting Insomniac can are keeping details close to their chests right now. In Intel promises, they'll ha share the same inventive DNA with the wacky weapons from previous outgoing like Sunset Overdrive and the Ratchet and Clank series. By way of illustration, Intar shows us an early prototype of the Carnaby Street a vintage spider punks suit that comes complete with red, white, and blue guitar that stuns enemies with a power called Shockwave. So actually they do have a gadget wheel within Spider-Man PS4, so I think this is inspired by Ratchet and Clank and Sunset Overdrive. The game's opening cinematic sets the tone by showing Peter Parker using his web shooters to remove slices of bread from his pop-up toaster and then platform in, in classic slapstick tradition while trying to eat breakfast and struggle into his skin tight spider suit at the same time likewise drop down to street level while swinging around the city and the civilians will high five our hero or stop for selfies we're also shown a still still from a later fast travel cutscene in which Spidey checks out his mobile phone on a packed subway train. While Intar demos the first half of the game's first story mission, it's noticeable that the action is accompanied by the dynamic running commentary courtesy of Peter Parker's incessant uh, internal monologue. I guess this is what they call a hostile workplace. 
he quips while uh, battling through the office of Fisk's tower. Is this tech support? He asks often crushing into a service room and I forgot my password. At one moment Peter takes a call from Aunt May while crawling up the lift shaft and explains a way to the background noise in the telling her. He's watching a superhero movie and actually I am really excited for this because that means there's gonna be a lot of comedy just like how we all know Spider-Man is. But it continues on by saying the game script currently stands at around 400,000 words or the combined length of three Lord of the Rings novels for comparison and leads writer John Pacute assures oh shit I think I butchered the name sorry uh, John but you know what he assures me his team have discarded the same again during production lead actor Yuri my boy Sasuke uh, jokes that he recorded a zillion lines while pulling double duty as the game's dual leads. Unusually for a modern sp superhero adventure, Spider-Man will also focus on the man behind the mask with the story missions in which you play as Peter Parker who balances crime fighting with his new career as a scientist. Now of course this is actually what Spider-Man is known for but this time he's a scientist, he's no more high school kid, he's no more in college, he's a scientist. Uh, so this is actually pretty cool. There is just two more articles and that is I think Spider-Man is one half of the equation explained in Ta more than a lot of superheroes. Peter is such an important element to the full Spider-Man experience so we want to make sure we deliver that not only the through cinematics and the story but also in some of those gameplay elements as well. Peter's on and off girlfriend who at the start of the game is very much off, Mary Jane will also star in her own playable missions and while Insomniac wouldn't even reveal details on how this would work, let's, uh, let alone show it. Inta did offer a few clues. I can't go into a ton of details but I will say if you think of what an investigative journalist might do they might give you some hints. If you imagine a scientist that might give you some hints. I'm not going to dodge your question completely but I will say that thinking about their careers and what they possibly can be doing in those careers and might have a better idea of what the gameplay could be. Lead writer John Puckett ev went even further hinting the pair could even work together. Now actually this could be a reference to possibly investigative skills I think if you had to play as Mary Jane uh, it would be more investigative because we all know journalists they are nosy they have to be it's part of the job so I think that Mary Jane would be more detective like, uh, possibly like Batman's detective stuff in the Arkham series. But honestly I do not know how Mary Jane will play out. I don't think there will be, be that much combat. Mostly investigation but they did say it's not going to be a walking simulator so you know what. I'm having high hopes for this Mary Jane stuff. And then the final part of this article. It says as impressive as Insomniac's super powered combat and transversal mechanics are, it's their more human elements that could be the key to nailing the fantasy of feeling like a superhero and make the difference between a good game and an amazing Spider-Man game. Early on that was one of the things that Brian and I really wanted to do and to be able to play the, the, these characters say Pacute. Uh, we're not a movie, we're not a comic book, we're a game and we experience the story by playing a game. When you make a character playable that's when you can really put yourself into the shoes of the character and fulfill this fantasy that we have when we play video games. So when I think about being Spider-Man it's not just a guy who swings around the city, it's a guy who swings around the city who has to balance his life with a guy who is regular like you and me. Last summer Sony chief Sean Layden told the Telegraph Spider-Man would be a key factor in propelling the PlayStation 4 console over the 100 million sales barrier. So there's certainly a lot riding on Insomniac and Intihar to get it right. 
And yes, there is plenty more articles I may have missed that is possibly more interesting, I don't know, but these are the ones that interested me the most. There's still a lot to, for you to see, so you guys can go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out and see it, the whole article for yourselves. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Please do leave a like, helps me a lot. Comment down in the comment section down below uh, your thoughts on all of these. Are you excited for the Spider-Man PS4 game? I know for a fact I am. Uh, subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt. Share with friends. Subscribe for more Spider-Man news updates, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts all of that juicy stuff subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt and anyway guys that is it for this video and as always this is a lightning chat blaze out